Hi viewers, welcome to Gunja Ashok Java interview questions. Today we will discuss about the these three problems. The first problem is what is the welcome occurrence from given string? Okay, welcome occurrence. In the this is a string welcome to Ashok and Ashok welcome you. This is one string. In this string, welcome occurrence. How many times it is repeating in the string? That count I want. Okay. I am taking this string. Okay, next is next is I S one dot. I am splitting uh, these words. Okay, through split method S one dot split method. Okay, here double quotes and one space is required. Semicolon. Control one enter. Okay. Then I got return type for a split method. Split, a split method is predefined method. Okay, here uh, uh, one one gap uh, for each word one space is there. That's why here also one space is required. Later, I am taking one for loop. Int i is equal to zero semicolon i less than is equal split dot. Split dot length method. Minus one semicolon i plus plus. Open brace and semi. Open brace and close brace. Okay. Again, int count is equal. Int count is equal to zero. Here I am comparing if I am using if condition. If condition of welcome is where is available in first index is available. Okay. Here also uh, first index is available. That means zero index. Split of zero. I am I am taking S P L I T. Split of zero, okay. Split of zero dot equals of dot equals of. I am comparing with split of i. Open brace and close brace. Count plus plus semicolon. Here I am printing out of for loop. Sys out. Sys out here. S P L I T split of zero. Split of zero. The count. C O U and the count. Here I am taking small gap also. Control S. Yes. Shift Alt X and J. I am getting exception. Unresolved. Sorry. So you need to count. So here also plus is required because we need to do the concatenation. Now welcome is how many times in this uh, in this string? Welcome is how many times? Two times. That count I am getting. Suppose if I want to colon also, we can keep the colon. Okay. Like this, we can get the count of uh, this string. Okay, here I am in in this string. Many uh, many words are there. For that, I am using split method. Split method is like this. We can it is making a array for each word. It will like it will take a array type. Okay, later I am using for loop. In the for loop, what I am doing? Welcome is uh, uh, welcome is yes. One of zero. That's why split of zero dot equals of. I am like using split of i. I means it will each word it will compare. Each word it will compare whether it is equal. Then only it will do the count plus plus. Okay, this is the logic. Our next program is write a program to give one number is prime or not. Okay, write a program to this number is prime prime or not. Like that we need to check. I uh, already I think you know the you know very well the, what is prime number. Prime number is means if the number dividing with two, if the rem then uh, if the remainder is zero, then it is not prime number. If the number is uh, uh, dividing with two, other than one and same number, if the remainder is zero, it is not uh, prime number. Other than one and two. 
actually prime number means uh, if we de uh, dividing with 197 97 then if it is uh, it became zero other than any element if, if it is not zero then it is prime number okay that concept you know already very well from your uh, school days okay i need to know uh, i think no need to discuss more about this i am writing logic here okay prime number okay first i am taking one for loop is prime what is the um, okay into i is equal into n is equal 97 okay here i am taking one for loop i will take one prime prime of n If it is true, this is out. Is prime number like this? We need to print. Okay. Suppose if it is uh, false, is not not prime number. Okay, I am taking here one is prime method public static boolean is prime method into n. Okay, because of from this method I am calling from here. Okay, in the if condition I am rocking. If condition means it is uh, true or like that only it will check. If the condition is true, this uh, this statement will be executed. If the condition is false, this statement will be executed. Because of this prime method, I will take an if condition. Okay. Um, from here, we need to take, we need to send return to true or false like that. We need to send. Or else, I will take return true. Okay. Now I am taking suppose. From end user, if they uh, if may if they send zero or one also, they will send like the, the that's why if of n less than two it is prime number. Okay, like this we need to write for the logic under now main logic is we need to take on for loop int i is equal to semicolon i less than is equal to n n means 97 we need this 97 we need to divide with 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 until 96 we need to division semicolon i plus plus open brace and close brace okay here i am taking one if condition what is in the if condition n percentage l i is equal is equal to 0 then it is not prime number is not prime number here i take n i will take here n Sorry, here uh, this type of logic no, we should not write. Here, like this, uh, th this is enough. If it is condition out of for loop, then it will it should return true. Here, then if this condition is not required, we need to send the return. 
return false because of here we are right already here we are right, uh, we wrote here that's why we need to send return true or false okay like that true or false we need to send if the if the number is n division by i uh, like suppose n is 97 97 division by 2 again we need to increment 3 4 5 6 7 like that uh, until 96 we need to division with uh, 97 we need to division with 97 if the remainder is 0 then it is not a prime number then if the condition is false if the condition is false here if the until iteration if the condition is false if, the, if this condition is false means it will come out of this for loop later this statement will be executed then true means true here uh, 97 is prime number then like that we will get the output okay suppose if the condition is uh, division by 0 return false false means it will come here it will not prime number once it is false means this this condition will not be executed because if it is written written, written means it will it will won't come again for this statement okay return statement must be end of the our logic once it is uh, well, once we once it is executed the return statement it will won't come back again it it, it will not execute at this state uh, this line okay i hope you got the logic i am running this one Sorry, here we need to write uh, not equal not required here. Is 97 is prime number. If I write is equal, it will division with 97 also. 97 by 97 is equal to 0. Then we will get false. It is uh, not prime number. That like that we will get the output. Okay. Is equal is not right. Is equal. Okay. Suppose here I will write 15. 15 is not a prime number because of it will uh, division with 3 15 is not a prime number suppose if i write take and if i take uh, 11 11 is a prime number with 11 and 1 with, the, with these two elements only it will division other than it will not division okay 11 is prime number again i will take 19 19 is prime number if i take 20 20 is not prime number 21 21 is not prime number because of uh, 7 into 3 ok like that 29 29 is prime number like that too we need to write the logic to checking the whether it is prime number or not ok I hope you understand the logic okay return statement also once it is written this statement this statement will not be executed because of return means it will uh, return here return false means that statement comes to here if the condition is false it will uh, execute this statement else statement will be executed okay i hope you got the logic I will move it to the next question. Here, now write a program to Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series means, suppose uh, Fibonacci series means like uh, 0, later element is 1. Suppose we will take two elements, one element is 0 and the next element is 1, and uh, the next element is 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 means 1. The next, uh, the next element is last two, ele two elements sum 1 plus 1 2 here the next element is previous two elements sum 2 plus 1 is 3 here the next element output is last two elements sum 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 3 8 5 plus 8 13 13 plus 8 21 20 pl uh, 21 plus 13 34 34 plus 21 55 like this we need to get the output then th this series we can call it as a Fibonacci series 
okay i am writing logic for this one i am writing the logic to fibonacci series okay first i am taking int num1 is equal to 0 int num2 is equal to 1 I want only ten iterations. That's why I am. I will. I am taking n to n is equal ten. I am taking for iteration purpose. I am taking for loop. N to i is equal to zero. Semicolon i less than is equal to n. Semicolon i plus plus. Yeah, here I ne. I I I can take yeah n to i is equal to zero or one because I want only ten iterations. Iteration purpose only. I am taking for loop. Other than not required. Okay, here I am taking logic. First, I am taking this out. This out of n u m b number one. Later, here I am writing. Uh, here I am writing main logic. Like uh, int n u m b three is equal n u m b number one plus number two. Okay, later the main logic is he here. Number two, we will move into number one, and number three value we will move into number two. Okay, here number two value we will move into number one. Later in the number two value nothing is there. In that number three value we will move into number three value we will move into number two. Okay, first number two value we will move into number one. Number two value we will move into number one. Later, number three value we will move into number two. Number three. Number three value we will move into number two. Later, um, this number three value, number three value, number two, number two into number one. That number we are printing here. Okay, like this we need to print until ten iterations. Run as Java application. So what is the output here? Zero one, one one one, two two one three, two three five, five three or uh, five five and eight thirteen. Thirteen, eight, twenty-one. Twenty-one, sorry. If we want to, if I take so for zero, one more element we will get like fifty-five. Okay, zero, one, 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 two, two, one, three, two, three, five, five, three, eight, five, eight, thirteen. <laughs> like this, thirteen plus twenty-one, uh, thirty-four, thirty-one, four plus twenty-one, fifty-five. This is the Fibonacci series logic. Here the main logic is. Number three, number two, first uh, the first uh, the first step is number two value we will move into number one, and number three value we will move into number two. Uh, if I uh, first number two value into number one, then in the number two nothing is there. Number three value we will move into number two. Okay, that is the logic here. Have no theory. I hope this video is completed. Uh, these three uh, problems i completed we will discuss in the coming logical question in the coming videos if you have any doubts please comment in this video bye thank you